Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Site to create a custom dashboard so that you can better understand a field of research uh, or a specific topic. Say you're interested in chromosome segregation. You can use Site to search for these articles. You can see that we have 252 results where chromosome segregation is exactly matched in either the title or the abstract. You can then choose to filter them based on citation types, publication types, and then even uh, identify if any have retractions, corrections, or erratum. If you want to better understand these articles uh, as a group, we offer the ability to export these results, and you can up export up to a thousand, uh, and then you can upload this resource into creating a custom dashboard. So if you go to product, there's the ability to create a custom dashboard. The custom dashboard allows you to sync your references from your reference managers like Mendeley or Zotero, but also to simply upload uh, a list of articles, whether that's from Site or another source like PubMed. So in this case, we will make a dashboard looking at chromosome missegregation. This is a description of this dashboard. Uh, and then what you can do is go ahead and grab your CSV file, um, and it's going to add a bunch of other things beyond the DOI. You can also just copy the DOI. If you hit submit, you'll then create this custom dashboard. So here's the chromosome segregation dashboard. There's the 252 articles that are search identified. Here's how these articles have been cited. So there are 762 total supporting citation statements, 62 disputing citation statements, and a total of 15,133 citation statements in our database. Uh, one, there's uh, one correction and one errata. And then how does this look over time? So we have a site index which shows a simple ratio of supporting sites over the total number of testing sites that allows you to look at a group of articles, a journal, or a field of research to better understand is it receiving more or less uh, supporting disputing sites. And so if you look at this over time, you'll see that there was uh, more disputing sites and less supporting sites uh, previously uh, back in 2004, but then this slowly climbed up to current day where there's, there's more agreement within the field. Um, and I should indicate that you know having more agreement or less disagreement uh, or less agreement in, in a, a field is not necessarily an indicator of quality, right? It's a healthy thing to have debate within a, a field, uh, and this is something that we want to to help surface. You can go then scroll down on the custom dashboard and, and quickly identify what is the article that has the most supporting citation statements. Um, you can choose to filter based on if you want to see only articles with. Uh, no mentioning sites, uh, and in this case, every article has a mentioning site, but say you want to see articles that have been supported but do not have any disputing sites, you can filter here and again find you know, very relevant arguments. Once you've set this uh, uh, custom dashboard up, you can simply hit this bell uh, to set an alert. What this will do is send you an email anytime there's a new uh, citation added to one of these articles. And so if there's a new supporting site or a new disputing site, you'll receive an email. Uh, and this is a really powerful way to better understand a, a field of research and then to stay on top of it as things change, as there's new uh, articles relating to this. And so that's that. Thank you very much for your attention and, and hope you find Insight useful.